Hello everyone, um, I'm Maximilian Minecraft. You probably haven't heard from me for a while. Um, I was originally planning to do some Minecraft videos, but that didn't really work out. There's a lot to Minecraft and I got a bit bored and I, I it's a bit complicated. So I ended up deleting pretty much all of my videos. So I decided to start with a new thing and I was looking for what game to play. And uh, a friend of mine, a close friend of mine, suggested this game. Um, hang on. Civilization Five: Gods and Kings. Um, I'm not sure what the Gods and Kings means. I think it, it's like a, it's like there are two games. There's Civilization Five without it, but then there's one with it. But he said this is the best one, so I'm playing this one. Um, yeah, so basically, as you could probably tell, I, I've not played this game before. Um, I don't really know what to do. Apparently, it's a hard game. So he told me to set this up exactly how he says. And he's given me this... Uh, he calls it a strat. Which apparently is short for strategy. Um, which is cool. So I've got this amazing strategy from my friend, and uh, obviously I can't tell you because apparently it's there's like some secrecy involved. I'm not even sure. P Civ players don't like to tell other Civ players what they do because it's super competitive and there's like tournaments and stuff. But that's all like way maybe in like a couple of months I can do that. But for now I'm gonna concentrate on my first game. So he's given me this awesome strat that. I really can't get used to saying that word. Um, it's awesome strategy, much better, um, to win the game, to make my first game really easy. Um, he's also told me what to do, so all of this stuff at the bottom, he says, ignore that, because it's all nonsense, apparently. Um, all the victory types, because you want as many ways to win. Um, that was his reasoning. Um, I'll get to the civilization later, because I know you can have different civilizations. But I'm not entirely sure what the benefits are, and this doesn't seem to tell you. Um, but he said, he said Polynesia. So Polynesia. He said, it doesn't matter what size the map is, nothing changes with that. Uh, he says, go Great Plains, because um, it works the best with my Civ. I didn't realise land types could make a difference with a civilization, but I mean, I'm not a historian, so I don't know. Um, he also said deity, um, and I was a bit worried because it says only the best players in the world will beat this level. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he said that this strategy is kind of like cheating. That's why it's not like he's not allowed to. I'm not allowed to tell people what it is. Obviously, you're gonna see it, so I don't know. I don't know what the point is, but um, the exact instructions I'm not allowed to tell you, apparently. Uh, so apparently that makes it sort of like cheating against the AI. Uh, it doesn't work in multiplayer apparently, but apparently it, against the AI it works perfectly and no matter what the difficulty is. So he said for me to get the most points I should put it on the hardest difficulty. So that's cool. Um, I don't know what these last two are so I just left them as the default. Um, he mentioned Polynesia because he said it works really well with Great Plains. Um, I understand Polynesia is a place. I'm guessing that first word is the leader. So he's the leader. And that is the sort of flag, I guess. It doesn't really look like a flag, does it? But, you know, um, I don't know. I don't want to know what that button does. So I won't touch it. Let's start the game. Um, Greetings and blessings oh, be upon you, Kamehameha the Great. Chosen by the heavens to unite your scattered peoples. Ah. Oh, mighty king. You were the first to bring the big island... I'm not going to lie, under this... One solitary rule in I, I stopped listening. AD. This was followed with the merging I of don't think this is important. None of this is important, so let's just start. As the first king of Hawaii, um, you standardized so? the league. Yeah, okay, cool. So he said to immediately settle, no matter what else is near you. Uh, because it's always best to have the quickest start. That's what it's written here. I wrote it down just to make sure it's all in there. 
because I, I, I don't want this to, to mess up like my Minecraft videos, you know? I didn't get many views, and um, it was really rough. But let's play Civ. Um, so, settling. There's a settler, so he does the settling. Yeah, I'm learning. Is it in here? So I think that's probably not what I want to do. Uh, found city. Causes the settler to found the city. Settler is consumed. Okay, good. Okay. Um, so he said... Um, right. Uh, okay. Okay, so the first thing he said is... Click the blue beaker and go to open technology tree and go right to the end and go for the best one. Um, so that's the highest number there, 78. So I guess that makes it the best. It's the furthest to the right. He said get to the furthest to the right. Um, so I'll do that. Okay. Uh, apparently I only need to do that once. For the whole game. So, that's kind of cool. Maybe I said too much. I don't know. I really don't know what I can and can't say about this strat. Um, so, I'll probably have to, like, censor some stuff before I, before I show it. Okay, he says there will be a warrior. But this is a Maori warrior. I guess that's the same thing. Um, he says, go to the very bottom and click that. Oh yeah, click that and then explore automated. Is it? Yeah, this is this one. Okay. What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, hang on a second. I I found some ruins. So I'm just talking to him on Steam as well. Some ruins. Apparently, what do I do? And then I just look at this map. It's kind of small. It's a bit small. I'm not gonna lie. Is this all of it? Or does it grow when I explore more? What's that pattern there? It's kind of funny. Um, oh, he's replying. Hang on. Okay, while well, I wait, I'm just going to go to the next part of the list. Uh, he says, click the name of the city to the right of the... No, click to the right of the name of the city in the blank space. It's just there. And he says, to build a worker. This is, good. This is easy. This is really easy. Um... He says, if I've done everything, it will say next turn. Whenever it says next turn, just press next turn. Pretty simple. Uh, oh, I should probably have waited for him to... What? Um, there's nothing in the list about this. <sighs> Apparently, I don't have the technology to ex investigate them yet. I need archaeology. So that's probably just a bug. Um, it says next turn, so press next turn. Cool, this is really... So I can see what he means now about the strat. Oh, I think I found another sieve. Um, or is that another... What's that then? Maybe they're like a city-state? He keeps talking about city-states and how I shouldn't um, give them money because it's better to just have them allied by other people so they're a bigger drain on other people's resources or something. He went on and on about it and he, something about them being like... I think the analogy he used was like they're, they're like parasites on your sieve and you have to try and like distance yourself from them as much as you can without going to war with them because if you go to war um, 
it's like the game becomes so much harder like this strat won't work if I go to war apparently I didn't realise going to war makes a difference like if you could go to war and then come back to peace it still somehow changes something to do with the programming or something I don't know um, okay so he says if you investigate them now they'll just spawn barbarians so you should just avoid them until you have the proper tech researched okay I think he's talking about the ruins um what are barbarians? Uh, it says next turn, so I'll just press next turn. Oh, oh. Rao Paul Kung Rao Kung Hang. Gasat Hang Siam. Nap Pen Kiet Jing Ying. Tita De Ma Tia Pen Tia Siam Kung Rao. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Shit. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> um. Some screen has come up. Come up with some guy whose name I can't even pronounce. <laughs> even even spell. Um what should I do? Uh he looks Pretty funny. He's got heads everywhere, his faces everywhere. It's really pretty. I don't know why the rest of the game can't be like this, so you could like play it in like third person view, and you can go around to the different cities and see what they're like. It just seems lazy that they 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 did it for just this one window. Like I'm never gonna see this again. So it's like, why did you spend all this time working on this? Okay, so apparently I should declare war on him. I thought the strat doesn't work. Oh, the strat doesn't work if I declare war on city-states. Which I'm not quite sure what they are. But apparently this isn't a city-state. This is another civilization. So I should declare war. Uh, so he'll respect me more. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Oh. Don't call chat. This is a sort of grudging kind of respect. I guess it's probably just like a generic response, but like his AI will respect me now. Ah, oh, this keeps coming up. It's a barbarian. In oh, it's gone. Oh, whatever. Whatever. So he mentioned something about barbarians. Did I attack them? know what to do right <laughs> okay okay so um my warriors have stopped moving yeah because he told me to put them on automate explore like they no longer explore automated I don't know why. Should I put them back on? He says yes. Okay. Dunk. Alright, next turn. This is easy. This is really easy. It's like turn five and next turn. So Oh, there's a different there's another sieve. That's funny, the window didn't come up. Hmm. Okay, so he says it's gonna keep going off, but not to worry. That's what's supposed to happen. Okay. The haft of the arrow had been feathered with I think. eagle's own plumes. We often give our enemies the means of our own. I've researched the new technology. So I think that's part of the thing I did at the beginning. Uh, where I basically picked the best technology. What was it called again? I think it was something about pharma tech. Um, so apparently archery has something to do with that. I don't know. Uh, next. Oh, thought that was my door. It's not my door. Right. Um, oh, he's typing some stuff. That door's going mental. Um, he's 
Ooh. Hello. This door is really noisy. It is really noisy. Come in. I'm playing Civ for the first time. I was worried you were recording. I am recording. Oh, I come oh. wearing gifts. Hello, everyone. This is Mrs. Maximilian Minecraft. Say hello to uh, the hundreds of people that will be watching. I don't want to have a discussion uh, this. Hi. Hello. So, okay, uh, next time. Um, cool. Yeah, pottery. So, obviously, pottery is involved in the pharma tech. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. You're, you're so, welcome. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Yeah, cool. Check it out. Look, look what Sylve gave me. It's like a super secret tech. Uh, strat. Sorry. Cool. I'm gonna and go and eat my cat now. Bye. That's fine. Never care. Whatever. Just um, next turn. Um, my friend is asking how it's going. I say it's going amazing. I've met two techs, uh, strats, sieves, two sieves. It's just next turn. Um, the camera seems to have stopped following the warrior. The Mahori warrior, what's it called again? Yeah. Um. I'm not sure what these are. Uh, cows. <laughs> How cows important? <laughs> That's a bit silly. There's a lot of cows. It's it's nice that they add these little things for you to look at while you play. I think that's kind of cool. I think more games should just have like pretty. Well, I won't say cow. Mine. There's cows in Minecraft, so you probably can use them for leather. Oh, oh. Choose production. Oh wait, no, first he said, once I have the worker, okay. So I can use my arrow keys, get to the worker. He said to put them on build improvements automated, and that way they will build the best improvements they can build. And that and because of the way the strategy works, they'll always be building stuff that's better than the other sieves, apparently. So okay, I need to choose production now. He said uh Basically, wonders are the best buildings in the game, so to build them, which makes sense, I guess. So I don't have to worry about it. Uh, and because apparently this is like a wonder strat, apparently there are non-wonder strats, which doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, why would you have a strategy that doesn't have the best buildings in the game in it? Um, kind of silly, <laughs> but I'm not an expert. Um, Oh, is that me? Honolulu can fire upon an enemy. Um, which one's my enemy? Because I declared war, but I mean, that doesn't mean we have to fight, right? I mean, I thought there was just like a statement. So we can fight? Right, so this is... I'm just gonna press next turn. I I think this is... This isn't a huge deal, I think. He says, okay, basically he says, whenever it says next turn, press next turn. So it's not not saying next turn. So, I don't know what that is. Um, so, I'm just gonna keep pressing next turn. Um, Next turn. I don't know why these the sieve is here. It's a bit weird. Oh, I have no idea what any of this means. I'm sorry, guys. I I'll make. I mean, he didn't mention any of this stuff coming up on the side. Apparently, hang on. There's 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 icons that keep coming up. Coming up. Are they important? Because I don't want to waste your time if they're not important. You don't want to see that. Important. And no, I didn't have to check how this was important. Um, some kind of list. People that like to smile the most. What? The people. Let me just cut the way out of the way. The people that like to smile the most. Is this some kind of quest or something? 
there's no, I can't accept it. Sorry guys, um, he hasn't put anything in the chat about a quest. Obviously, I can't talk about things I don't understand yet. So, as this Let's Play evolves and grows and gets better, I will get better and the game will get... Well, the game will stay the same, but I will get better. So I will be better than the game. Uh, I'm just waiting for his reply, really. I'd really like to eat that pizza. I'll eat it in a bit. So I'm just, it means you didn't complete it since you didn't get a claim option. Right, so I guess I'll just close it. Um, okay. Okay, instead of next time, it says adopt policy. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. What is this? Why is a social policy? What does that even mean? What do I do? Seriously, what do I do? What is this? If you suggested this, it's nothing like Minecraft. <sighs> Policies have to all be completed in order, they're kind of like an achievement tree. So basically, just left to right? Is that what I need to do? I'm guessing the buttons here. Or maybe I, I do things and then I get them. I guess, okay, that's clickable. And he says, okay, so you have to pick all the first tier policies before you can choose any of their children. And I guess it goes up to down then to the next one up to down so you just it's basically like an achievement thing i guess maybe it's like linked to steam or something i don't know whatever next time next time so basically i was thinking maybe of like putting these out uh it is this really curious with me i don't know why it's quite so curious I guess it's probably impressed with me. Um, this game's so so good. It's like kind of like World of Warcraft. Um, so I guess I go. It says left to right, but then up to down. So I go. I go down first, but starting on the left. So I'll just start with this one. Um, Okay, what did I get? 15% production. Hammer. 15% uh, looks like a hammer. 15% hammer production when building wonders. Well, I like wonders. He said this is a wonder strat, so this must be good for me. And plus one happiness. Fevery 10. Sort of like face citizens in a city. So I'm guessing smiley face happiness is, is just happiness. And there's a smiley face up here. Oh, Jesus. Um, I'm not going to look at this, because it's not important to me, frankly. Um, 
Like, there are people out there who, like, apparently he says there are people out there who like to max min, and apparently that means, like, caring too much. See, look, classical era. I didn't even need to max min, and I've got to the classical era. Right? I'm pretty sure the Polynesians never had whatever these things are. Um, I'm pretty sure they had stairs. <laughs> But columns. I don't think the Polynesians ever had columns, so I'm obviously better than Polynesia. Um, I'm just gonna boast. Your strat has gotten me to the classical era. How cool is that? So let's close that. Next turn. No, this is good. This is good. Um, I really feel like this could be the start of a really good series. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Um, I'm not sure what that means. I guess it's a good thing, because he's my friend. So, like, the respect points. It's like in GTA 2, where you get, like, respect from the different clans. Um... Is that like a... Is my city leveling up? Is that like a level up bar? I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm not sure what these numbers mean. Um, pretty sure the star means that it's... It's really good. That it's like the best city in the game so far. Um, that's what I was told. That if, if there's a star... You're doing well. Um... I think I'm losing XP or something. Like, um, like in Final Fantasy, I think it was eleven, when you can un unding because you don't do a certain thing enough. So teach us another. <laughs> Seriously, it, it like it took hundreds of years to make a calendar. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know. I don't know history. So, apparently, maybe it took forever for people to make the first calendar. You'd think it wouldn't take long. It's only 12 months, guys. It's a bit silly. Um. It is not so much for its beauty that the forest makes a claim upon men's hearts. Huh? As for that subtle something, that quality of air, that emanation from old trees, that so wonderfully changes oh, and renews a weary spirit. Did I get a... I guess this is my city levelling up. Um, so this is empty now. He says whenever this is... Oh yeah, cool. So choose production. I guess that's linked to this? Oh, you can't see me pointing at the screen. Um, so there's another wonder, Stonehenge. That's cool. I've been to Stonehenge, actually. Um, I think it's... it's it, was, it was in Glastonbury. I think when I went to Glastonbury couple of years back I went to Stonehenge and it was kind of cool um, it's a lot smaller than you think it would be um, I was actually expecting it to be quite big but it's not so there you go that's Stonehenge so I'm gonna have Stonehenge hopefully it won't be it'll be big enough for me to see from this map um, I think am I about to level up again See, this strat is awesome. The strat is so cool. Um, it's just basically letting me level up. So, I don't know why it took me 40 odd turns to level up. And then, within another couple of turns, I'm going to level up again? I'm not sure. Like, because when... I'm, I get it, they're attacking me. But I'm guessing it's just like a, an AI thing? Oh, see, my allies are helping. I don't think that's a level up bar, though. Oh, okay, it's policy. This should probably get me the, um, what I need. He said, like, the XP bar over my city is going down. Is that bad? Um, 
Um, so while I wait for him to answer, this is probably... Um, it's quite, are those my units? Ew. No, because they were here before. So I'm guessing they're my allies. I don't... I guess you can make allies without, like... Like, people can come and see that you're, like, really strong. And then they become your allies without you having to, like, talk to them. Um, I'm just waiting for uh, the response from my friend about my XP bar. I guess... See... I don't know, man. Like, I couldn't complete this quest either. Look, look, there's nothing there. Maybe I've already completed it? No, maybe this is me completing it. He's got a bigger number than me. But it's cool, he's, he's my friend. The other Civ, though, is a bit of a dick. He keeps sending units. It's, you'd think they'd have more colours, though. Like, look, there's four Civs here, right? They're all the same colour. Right? Like, I'm pretty sure I met that, this one. And he was cool. But this one is like being a bit of a dick. Um. Oh, okay, he's just explained. This bar here, it's a countdown timer for when your city gets upgraded to the next level. Because, like, you go through history, and at each point in history, your city gets better. Um, so I think I'm, like, classical era. So I just need to wait for my city to upgrade to like the classical era version. It's like in, in Age of Empires, when your your town center um, upgrades. So um, I just have to wait for that to get to the bottom, and then it'll upgrade. Um, Statue of Zeus. I guess that's a good thing for, for, for Rama. See, I'm, I don't want to be racist. I don't want to try to say the name. Um, but yeah, it's going good. Like, I've met so many civs now, and they're coming to me. So that obviously, like, this one obviously feels threatened by, by me, I guess, which is why he's attacking me. But it doesn't matter because, uh, maybe because he's attacking me, that's why my my bar keeps going back up. Now, every time he attacks me, I get XP, but I think it's also slowing my upgrade down. Because, yeah. like... Don't they have to get in the city to be able to take it, right? And, like, none of them have gone in the city yet. They're just attacking, like, my walls or something, I guess? Um... But there's a lot of them. I'm, I'm surprised my city's doing so well. So it's like, it's like, so the more they attack, the better my city gets? Like XP, right? Oh, it must have, like, looped over. Or something. It's a pretty weird mechanic that it keeps going, like, back and forth like that. It's like, either upgrade or don't, bro. You know? It's like, stop toying with me. Maybe I have to do something? But, like, I'm following this to the letter. Um. Oh, yeah, he talked about social policies here, yeah. Left to right. Cool. Um, I'm not sure what these guys are doing. Like, I guess my allies are helping me. I guess I spawn the allies because of the star, and that spawns these allies. Which, oh, oh, I'm coming close. See, every time they attack me, it goes up. Oh, now it goes down. I don't understand. Kind of. You have to clear out old parts of the city to make room for new parts. Oh, so, like, when the bar gets to the bottom, that means the city, like, gets rejuvenated? Like, like an inner city, inner city project sort of thing? 
That's really deep. I'm pretty fucking close. So that's why it keeps going up. So that's, yeah, that's why it keeps going back up. Because all the old stuff keeps getting rebuilt. Hi. I come there in fabric. Oh. Oh, I haven't, I haven't eaten dinner yet. I've been so engrossed. I'm doing so well. This game is so easy. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, right? Mm -hmm. Right? And it's just, I'm absolutely owning. It's so good. Like, I'm about to, look, like, watch, my city's about to, to, um, rejuvenate. You have been defeated. What? You've just Your been defeated. Been <laughs> and you said you were doing well. There, but what? I know that one day you shall return. And lead them forward the to victory. <laughs> what oh, what happened? I don't know. My city was about to fucking like rejuvenate. So did Maybe you? Maybe they killed. Lose I don't know. the game. Okay. After. You <laughs> I guess. Oh no. I probably did something wrong. I probably did something wrong. I followed all... Oh, I followed everything. I'm so sorry. I just literally find it quite ironic. This is this is supposed to be like a 50-part <laughs> series. How am I... <laughs> you should put this on YouTube anyway just because it's quite funny. The ending. I like this ending. You should play again. Maybe. Okay. All right, guys. Um, that was. <laughs> this was the taster video. Yeah. This is like Minecraft all over again. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I'll. I'll um, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And um, yeah, we'll. Well, uh, maybe I'll try a different game. You know, this game's stupid. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It's just... See you guys later. Okay, bye.